What's up YouTube? Before we start, make sure to smash the like button for more fire content. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. For all the newcomers, welcome to Team Island. If you haven't yet, be sure to follow Team Island on the IG page. There's a lot of great content on that page and I'm always active, so if you have any questions, be sure to DM me. We got another great one for y'all. Today I'll be going over how to study film as a corner. Remember, in order to really study film, you have to watch it daily. It's not a one-time thing or a few-minute thing. Be consistent and really study your opponents. Watching film is not for entertainment reasons. Really focus and watch the film. All right, now, let's get better today. Body language. Study the receiver's body language. The way to come out the huddle, sometimes you might be able to tell if it's a pass set up for them. Does he drop quicker when there's a pass play coming out the huddle? Or does he jog slower if it's a run play? Look at their stance. Is it a lazy stance when they're not getting the ball? Compare the stance to when they're getting the ball and when they're not. Look at the bottom of the screen right here. Look at the receiver. He's leaning forward. Good receiver stance. Looks like he's about to run around. Look at the two receivers right here. Top of the screen, the receiver is leaning forward. Looks like he's ready to do what he has to do. Bottom of the screen, he's not really leaning forward. He's kind of standing straight. Look at the way he comes off the ball. Slowly jogs off, trying to block the DB. Pre-snap reads. Remember, when watching film, picture yourself going against the offense. What do you see before the snap? What is the formation? What is the coverage? Where would you be aligned at? Are you on the wide side of the field or the short side of the field? How many receivers are on your side? Right, so here's the two corners over here. Bottom of the screens look like he's man. Top of the screen, there's three receivers over there, so we're going to make that the side of the call, so we're going to make a right call. So here's the two corners over here. Looks like a two by two formation. So the field side is the left side, so we're gonna make that the strength. Alignment and assignment. Understand where you need to be aligned at against the offense and why. Are you supposed to be pressed with inside leverage or playing off man seven yards away from the receiver with inside leverage? What is your job? Also remember to communicate with your teammate if there's any checks needed. So great job disguising the coverage. But looks like we're playing man, maybe cover one. So make sure we have the proper alignment so we can make this play. Three by one formation. Corner at the bottom is playing press man by himself. Three receivers up top and they're in a bunch formation. So if there's any checks needed, just in case they run any route combination that requires you to change responsibility, make sure to communicate that with your teammate. Locate your reads. Based on the coverage, what are you reading? Are you in man? Or are you in zone coverage? Study QB's jobs and watch the film. Imagine yourself doing your job and how you'll make the play. Looks like quarters coverage, maybe cover two. Either way, you're reading two to one. Three by one formation, corner at the bottom. Make sure you know that you're by yourself, so you man all the way by yourself. Corner up top, if you made a check call for this bunch, make sure you read who you need to read and make sure everybody knows where they need to be. Identify the key players. Who's the best player? And who's the best receiver? Who is the go-to guy in crunch time? Watch where he lines up at all times. Does he move around at different positions? Be alert and study how the offense tries to get the ball in the best player's hands. Ooh. 
favorite route. Study your matchup. What is the favorite route? Study where the receiver lines up at. Either top of the numbers, bottom of the numbers, close to the hash, away from the hash. Know the down and distance. Know what to expect. What is their money play if they need to convert a first down? During the play, look at your assignment and what do you have to read? What route are you expecting? When does he break? Is he fast? Is he slow? Does he struggle when going against press? Study the different type of press release shown on film. Does he show his hands late for the ball? What routes does he struggle running? What pass does he struggle catching? Is he a physical blocker or a lazy blocker? Study your opponent and look for any weakness you can use against them. Ball awareness. Look at how the receiver adjusts for the ball. Does he go up and catch it at the highest point? Or does he wait for it to come down to him? Does he catch the ball with his hands or does he catch it with his body? Does he have alligator arms when he's about to get hit? Or does he show no fear? Take the time to really study your opponent and know how they play the ball in the air. Now picture yourself. How will you make the play? That concludes this video on how to study film series for both safeties and corner. Make sure to watch film every day and watch lots of it. Always find time to watch film with your teammates so you can see the same thing and be on the same page. As you get older and go to higher levels in football, you start to see how important film study is and how much easier it is to make plays when you know what's coming at you. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. You guys enjoy your day and take it easy. Peace.